This is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about the Anthem VIP demo. I want to give you guys my thoughts on how it is so far and uh, some other thoughts regarding what I think uh, the game has in terms of a future and uh, what I think Bioware can improve. Uh, hopefully they've already improved this stuff. So let me just uh, let me just preface this with saying that uh, the VIP demo is a six week old build of Anthem and uh, the game went gold a couple days ago uh, so they've already addressed a lot of the issues that we may be bringing up but still I mean this is my first time playing it I have not I didn't play any alpha at all so uh, I noticed a lot of glaring issues and I think a lot of people other than me echoed the same thing so let's uh let's just talk to the elephant in the room uh, when I was streaming this on twitch.tv slash wanna you can come by and subscribe and say hi uh, when I was streaming this, a lot of people they, they really jumped right to the to the comparisons to Destiny and to Warframe, uh, and uh, you know I, I had a kind of a troll title on my stream and it had Firefall 2019 because I believe the game closely resembled Firefall and even in some ways Global Agenda in the uh, verticality and uh, you know the verticality gunplay looting type of stuff. Um, but in essence, this is a game that's borrowing from the genre, the looter shooter genre. Sure, it has it has a third person, in some cases, first person with Destiny gunplay. Uh, there's some abilities mixed in, kind of like an MMO MOBA type of deal. And uh, you have randomized loot and you have gear and you're going to be repeating a lot of levels and dungeons to enhance your gear to be better. The old action RPG type of thing so anthem is just another one of those it is uh but i really have a hard time comparing it to destiny other than some of the ui elements and some of the look and feel of it and also i have a hard time comparing it to warframe because uh i think what separates warframe from a lot of other games is this movement system warframe is more of a parkour system if you take out arcwing whereas um you know anthem is all about jetpacks and uh, this suit movement with with rockets it's almost like an Iron Man simulator if you will <laughs> a lot of people compare it to that and I agree it's like you feel like you're flying a bunch of Iron Man variants uh, of the suits but uh, yeah that's that's the common question is this just another destiny is this just another Warframe and I can't say it is it's, it's Bioware so it looks like they took a lot from what they did in Mass Effect uh, and they applied it to the looter shooter genre and this is what we have and I think it's I'm not gonna say it's completely unique but it feels different from just about everything else I've played uh, both good and bad so the VIP demo came with uh, came with the stronghold that you could do which is a dungeon it also came with a story segment uh, from levels uh, you started at level 10 so they put you kind of in the in the middle of the story uh, and you, you do a little bit of one uh, one part of the story. And I got to say, it was actually pretty good. Uh, all those elements in the game were good. Uh, free roam felt good. Uh, the stronghold felt really good. And also the story probably felt the best out of everything. Uh, it's Bioware, so everybody kind of holds them to a higher standard when it comes to telling RPG stories. And I think, uh, I think what they showed us in the demo is actually pretty good. So the, the, the biggest impression I've gotten from the game and, and what I tell people when they ask me what I think about the game is it's fun. Because bottom line, when you play the game with the combat, with the systems in place, overall the game is extremely fun and I, I had a great time playing it. But that doesn't mean that the game is perfect. Um, I am sold on the game. I think, it's, I think this demo did its job. As I've stated so many times on my live stream, <laughs> it's like, when I play a demo, I look for three things. I look for the ability to run the game. Can my computer run it? I look for control schemes and options. What does the game offer in terms of uh, UI and options and settings and stuff like that? And then I also see if the game is fun. And I think uh, I think Bioware did a good job in just about all of those areas. So I, I'm sold on the game. I think I'm going to have fun with it when it comes out. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to have a hard time splitting time between this game, Warframe, and the division that's going to be a tough thing to do but however the game does have its fair share of issues and they are monstrous if you look at it from the perspective of a pc gamer you probably know what i'm talking about this game is a very very poor 
console port to PC. There are so many things wrong. It is reminiscent of the original Borderlands where you can tell that certain parts of the UI, they just stripped out the console button and they put a random keyboard key on there. The UI is very, very clumsy. Uh, it's just, it's just really unintuitive. There's so many mistakes in it. I'm hoping, like I said, this is a six week old build. I'm hoping some of these have been addressed, but my gut is telling me they have not. I think there's going to be a lot of this stuff that makes its way into the game. So the UI is just awful. Uh, the mouse sensitivity with flying and swimming. Let's talk about that right there. Oh my goodness. Flying took a little bit to get used to, and it looks like they've improved it. Some people have kind of leaked out because they weren't supposed to say this probably, but they've kind of leaked out that in the alpha, it was a lot worse. So they've improved the flight a little bit, but it still feels really, really floaty and just there's so much acceleration going on and deceleration going on with the mouse. Oh man. The good thing is that they put in an, an absorbent, it's like a, an enormous amount of sliders. <laughs> All these different sensitivity sliders. There's three different mouse sensitivity sliders, I believe, for flight. Three different ones. It's like three different aspects of it. So it's just like they're trying to give you the ability to tweak and tune it. So I can appreciate that. But it's still way off, way, way off. And I think they got a lot of work to do in that area. They've already gone on record to say that they have made changes from the demo to live in that area. So I hope they nail it. That's one of the first things I look for when I get the live build. That swimming. Swimming is the worst part of the game by far. You are, oh, people say that the swimming is what the flight used to be. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? It feels like you're, you're in a gyroscope in space upside down, flying in the middle of a black hole. Your sense of direction is just crazy. It's just way off. First off, they throw you into, a, a, into water where you just can't see anything. And then you have to try to orient yourself with these crazy controls. And I think it is, it is just awful. It is just terrible. The game doesn't have any motion blur options. I was so, so shocked by that. I don't have any screen shake options. There's no FOV slider. I, I feel like I'm channeling the late Total Biscuit here. I'm just like, what in tarnation is going on here? Um, so it's just a lot of little things. There's no text chat. Uh, <laughs> it's like, this is a console game through and through. It's hard, it's hard to say that. You know, given that the game is so fun, but it's a console game through and through. If you're playing on PS4 and Xbox, you're going to feel right at home. PC players, however, are going to have a lot of gripes. A lot, a lot of gripes. Good news is that the game runs fairly well on my i7-3770K with a, a 1080 video card. It runs decent. I was able to stream it and play it at the same time. Um, and I had a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking up damage charts. I'm looking up elements. I'm looking up combos. I'm looking up builds. So I'm getting excited about the game, but oh my goodness, this PC port is atrocious, atrocious. So let's hope that Bioware uh, actually fixes some of these things between now and the release, or they already fixed it, I should say. Because like I said, this is an older build. They said that some issues have already been fixed. We don't know what those issues are. So I can only assume they haven't been fixed. So let's hope that they have fixed them. And I look forward to playing and covering this game on my live stream, and hopefully I'll be able to make more videos like this on my Twitch. I mean, I'll make more videos like this on my YouTube channel um, to show you guys what the game is like. Drop by my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash one. We stream every day about 3 p.m. Eastern every day. Uh, if you want to check me out playing other games, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching the stream and uh, watching. <laughs> what stream? I've been doing that too long. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.